as policy makers, politicians and activists converge in Tungamo today to mark Labor Day. A group of youth converged at Fuseka Roundabout and made plans of their own. <laughs> They want the government to prioritize youth employment. Article 40 of our constitution enacts the effect that employment is a right. So we are not demanding a privilege, we are demanding a constitutional right. Our country's economic progress and social advancement are being um, stifled by the stranglehold of this dehumanizing crisis, unemployment. And youth are sitting. We are talking about 16 million youth between 15 and 35 years of age of these youth here in Uganda, they can't get what to do. But as the youth look to employment, lawmakers want protection for the already employed but exploited worker. When you set a minimum wage, so many workers become reasonable earners. And the moment they become reasonable earners, their purchasing power increases. Their contribution in form of taxes to the national economy increases. It has been talked about for so long. Everybody talks about it. Uh, the president of the country talks about it. Everybody talks about it. And everybody supports it. The MPs on the House Committee on Gender, Labor and Social Development also want the government to streamline the payroll management system to ensure that workers get their pay promptly. As we celebrate Labor Day, we would be celebrating with those even who have left civil service, who are now retired, who should be enjoying their benefits. But you'll find there are so many Ugandans who have died in this country without accessing their pensions. MPs say the high employment rates in Uganda, mostly among the youth, would become a security problem if not addressed. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight. <laughs>